Now we've changed it up a little bit. We're going to do a right outer join. And as you can see here from the employee table and the department table, we're doing a right outer join. Well, we know the first table mentioned after the from clause was the employee table, and it's the left table. We're doing a right outer join, and the second table mentioned is the department table. That's going to be the outer table. So once again, we're going to join where e.depno equals d.depno. All the matches are going to come back, and then they're going to say, hey, wait, we had a little problem here. There was one row in this department table that didn't have a match, this department 500 human resources. And they go, okay. Just give me the department name. We've asked for that in the select list from that department table. And we're going to get the department name. And it's going to put a null over here in the first name because it couldn't fulfill that. That's a right outer join. As you can see in the report, it brought back all the matching first names with the department name that they're in because it matched on Depno and Depno. And as you can see, Human resources came back and it had a null value for the first name in there because there was nobody in there and that was a right out or join. Now, notice that Squiggy and Richard did not come back because they were in the left table. This is a right out or join. We'll bring back the matches and then any other rows that didn't match from the right table only. Now we're going to do a full out or join. We're doing it from two tables, the employee table, full out or join, the department table. All rows are coming back. But I want you to think about it this way. Both the employee table and the department table are the outer tables. The employee table is still the left table, and the department table is still the right table. But we want a full outer join. So first they're going to say, hey, I brought back all the matches. And then they're going to go, you know, there was a little problem. I didn't have matches for Richard Smythe and Squiggy. And they go, hey, no problem. Bring those first names back, put nulls in their department name. Oh, and I had another problem. I had this human resources over here in the department table. That didn't have a match either. And we go, no problem. Bring back human resources and put nulls in their first name. That's a full outer join, and all rows from all the tables there are coming back whether they got a match or not. There's our report, and as you can see, in many cases, we got the first name and the department name, and then, of course, you can immediately recognize which rows were mismatched, and that is why you do a full outer join. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. If you have questions, we have answers. Check out CoughingDW.com for some great offers on our training books. Unleash the genius within. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.